नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एन सी आर टी स्पेशल लाइव फोन इन इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम माई नेम इज तनवी खुराना एंड दिस इज आर सीरीज ऑन द जर्नी ऑफ नेशनल आई सी टी अवॉर्डी टीचर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द जर्नी ऑफ अ वेरी स्पेशल नेशनल आई सी टी अवॉर्डी हियर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट हाउ अ टीचर वर्क सो हार्ड टू गेट दिस अवॉर्ड एंड सो मेनी आई सी टी टूल्स आर देर वेर द टीचर वर्क अपॉन एंड इट्स सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर देम टू कीप ऑन इवॉल्विंग टू कीप ऑन लर्निंग न्यू आई सी टी टूल्स एंड कीप ऑन शेयरिंग दैम sharing the knowledge of ICT tools with the children uh, that they are in the school. So I would request you if you have any questions, any queries regarding the series of ours, then please reach out to us. You can give us a call on our number, which is double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. And uh, we have a guest with us. Let me please introduce to you, Mr. S. Ganesh, with all of you, sir. A very warm welcome to you. sir is a bt assistant teacher from panchayat union middle school kilariam tiruvarur district tamil nadu so if you have any questions you can easily connect with us you watching us and even there channel number 6 to channel number 12 and also on our youtube channel that is ncert official in the live chat box you can write down your questions your queries of our youtube channel which is ncert official and share them with us so uh, there are multiple methods through uh, through which you can get in touch with us and raise your questions raise your queries so let's begin this uh, conversation but before that um, i have an announcement to make and that is regarding india's g20 presidency well we are extremely proud of the fact that india assumed g20 presidency and would convene the g20 leaders summit for the first time in the country this year a nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism india's g20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding global pragmatic solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest its true spirit of vasudeva kutumbakam or should i say the world is one family well like i said that the journey uh, is very special and every journey is different from another so let's ask uh, our guest for this program sir um, mr s ganesh sir would you please share each and every details of your journey how did it begin and uh, was it always your aim to have this uh, national ict award sir over to you sir can you hear me uh, sir can you unmute yourself and then uh, talk please yes ma'am can you hear me now yes now we can hear yes thank you i would like to thank ncert iscit for giving me this, this wonderful opportunity to share my journey of ict award i am s ganesh national ict award for the year 2018 and i have come also get the tamil nadu state green teacher award in 2017 recently i am working in panchayat union middle school kilarium product city block throughout the district in tamil nadu here i am going to share my presentation the first quote i have to remember work for class not for applause this is a word i would like to remember because we are living in this world to express not to impress others so whenever we are in the present everybody can notice it but we have to be felt when we are not there there is a quote i want to remember for that i am going to share my journey uh, first of all i have to share my journey as a teacher i am appointed in panchayat union middle school pandiyan group in 2004 so in 11 Uh, 11 10 2004, and then I got transferred 2006 to Panchayat Union Middle School Abhijit Kishor. Uh, this is a golden opportunity to be there to work there because I have opportunity to have uh, cope up with the IC because the Cal Center is opened in 2006 there, so we have got uh, four desktops and two laptops to our school. so this is the opportunity for me to use the computers for me teaching and learning processes so it will help me to learn many software and then in 2012 i got promoted to pms melaradanallu and then now 
from 2017 to till now, I am working in Panjayat Indian Middle School, Kilarium. So, my school is in a rural area. So, here it is also a CAL center, Computer Assisted Learning Center. So, we have got three desktops by SSK and three laptops by SSK. And then one projector, I have bought it because uh, to pin the students. And then one printer from our uh, sponsors, Sahu Lamid and Saham uh, Krishna. And then we have Carlos Mike. Like this, in, this is our uh, ICT infrastructure in our school. My ICT journey. This is why I have come here to share my views. So I am going to present my ICT uh, usage and uh, the journey. So I have to separate it into ICT forest. This is the topic I am going to share. ICT forest means I am using ICT as an interactive, collaborative teaching tool for students, school, self-development and society. This is the topic ICT forest I am going to present you. How I have used ICT as an interactive, collaborative teaching tool for students, school, self-development and society. These are all the topics we are going to see in my image. So, need of ICT in my class. This is the primary question asked everywhere because why we use ICT. So, as a math teacher, I felt a blackboard and a textbook are not enough to make the students understand the concept. Though I am using TLM and Max Lab uh, with the kids, but the hands on experience uh, given to all is a little bit uh, difficult and uh, to engage the students uh, uh, make me feel uh, something is missing. So, by using some ICT tools, uh, the students have uh, learned through hands on experience. So, the uh, ICT tools help me to make them understand the concept. And then while searching for math worksheets, uh, you, you can see the math is an universal subject. So, we found many English medium worksheets only. But in regional language like uh, Hindi, Telugu, like that, and uh, Tamil also, we can't find many worksheets. So, I have a habit of developing many worksheets using various software and to make them students to engage with that. The, that uh, it is the need. And then the evaluation. Uh, every math teacher has to tell that because we, uh, we are not a language teacher, so we have to uh, see each step by step uh, for the students, whether they are completed, they are understand very well. Like that, it will take a huge uh, time and also it make a uh, 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 certain work for the teachers. So, for this I have to use some useful and uh, effective tools which reduce my time and effort, but it should be appropriate and good. So, this is the scenario I felt the need of ICT in my class. So, my work in ICT for education can be classified as creating e-resources. The e-resources may be different, so I will show you little by little. And then, Embedding ICT with the 21st century skills because we are living in the 21st century, there are many challenges. Now, AI uh, chat GPT like this is very, very competitive. So, we have to learn and cope up with this situation. So, we have to develop the skills among the students to cope up with the 21st century skills. And then using passes because we are in the government school, we can't be uh, able to pay more uh, for the paid software, or software, software. So, we are using many fast tools. So, we are testing many fast tools which are all available in the internet or available in the other things. So, we are uh, using fast tools and then we are using them. And then to motivate the students to use the ICT for self-learning and creativity. So, uh, self-learning is the best thing that a, a can, student cannot forget any concept. So, and then and the ICT also help them to develop their creativity. So, their production like this, their creation will be effective. If a, the education is fulfilled when their creativity is fulfilled. And then sharing resources. Because uh, creating is one point of view and another thing to sharing for others. Because uh, if I am creating many videos and applets and use only in my classroom, it won't be an effective one. But but sharing to uh, open platform like Diksha and the TNCP, like the online platforms, then it will be useful for all the next teachers. So I am, I am, I have a played a key role. That is, as a creator, as a user, and also as a contributor. This is my ICT work in education. Now ICT for students. This is the first topic because ICT for us, the first year students. 
So students are the backbone of the school, isn't it? So they are uh, uh, they want to play more and more. But uh, learning with the, uh, something activities like games, it will be more effective and make them interested and uh, increase the enrollment of the school. Uh, so I have a knowledge about the TPAC because TPAC is very essential for a, every ICT teacher. Technological, pedagogical, and content knowledge. This knowledge is effective. So I have a knowledge regarding TPAC. So I, I, I know where to use the IT tools and when to use the IT tools and how to use the IT tools. So, so uh, the objective is nothing but to develop the habit of learning mathematics with concept understanding by playing involving activities using various IT tools. For this, I have created a resource bank and a digital lesson plan and also a game lab. These are the things that I have used for uh, make the students uh, to play and learn with mathematics. Yes. Creating resources. Creating resources means I have created many videos and various applets using various software and the teaching learning resources using I use for online and also offline teaching. And then resource bank creation. This is the essential thing needed for every teacher. Because uh, we have an ICT classroom with all infrastructure, but uh, we are not uh, switch on the uh, system and also we are not a uh, able to locate the software or we are not able to uh, locate the video that will make uh, uh, make the time very slow because uh, we are using plenty of time to make the arrangement but if you have a resource bank with the classification like uh, class wise subject wise like that then we can directly use them whenever possible so this will help a teacher to save his time and use the ICT effectively so here i create the resource bank under the topic like this for example, I have classified them into class-wise and also uh, for teaching and also self-learning and evaluation. So, uh, whenever I teach, I use the teaching uh, folder things and then whenever the students have to engage in a lab, I have used the self-learning folders and click on the links and they can enjoy the self-learning, uh, like games and playing like that. And then evaluation, I have, I have plenty of online pieces like that, so that can be done using that. And then use it because sometimes I have to download many videos from others also because uh, I can't create everything on my own. So I have a uh, uh, take uh, or download or something from others. So and then play and learn. This is the thing I want to make the students to play games and interact with ICT tools to so understand the hidden mathematics concept. That's what I mean because I can teach the mathematics to them to solve any problem using the blackboard and the textbook and also some materials which is bad. Uh, play and learn is the main motto and also to understand the hidden concepts. So ICT helps me to make them uh, learn to understand the hidden mathematics concepts. So as a creator, when it uh, happened, I, using ICT, I have used ICT from 2006 itself, but I have bought a laptop on my own in 2009. This is the turning point in my life because I have uh, able to create uh, during my leisure time in my home. So this make me to create more and more resources. Uh, and also we have uh, got training from SSC and RMSC and the SCRT. In Tamil Nadu SCRT gives you plenty of workshops uh, for past tools like that. So I have created uh, infographics, concept maps and animated videos and interactive. And then I have happy to share that I have in 2009 I have got the first place award for youth and creation uh, as a district level competition conducted by the education department and have got a, got a cash award um, from our district collector. This event motivates me to create more and more. Uh, it also helps the students to understand the concept better. So first thing I have to introduce is the infographic. So this is the infographics I have created for the NCRT also. So, uh, this infographics help the students to learn all the concepts in a single chart or a single paper. So it will be helpful for them to realize the relationship between all the operations like that. And then concept map. Uh, you can see the concept map is a uh, thing that helps the students to understand the concepts and relationship between the concepts. So it helps them have created plenty of them. And then animated videos. These videos help me to uh, make the students to learn the concepts in a little bit time. 
So uh, this is a sample video I'm going to show here. Time, but uh, it will play only a few minutes. But they, it uh, helps them to understand the, all the concepts related to circuit. Now, but uh, area of circuit, this is a few concepts. By using GeoGebra, I have easily created this. Now you can see the expanding the radius and the circumference of the circle, and also I have splitted the circle into pieces, and then I will fold them to form a rectangle but it won't be a rectangle To fold or to break the circle into pieces and make them in the form of a rectangle is a huge process uh, because by hands-on tool like the, um, we can split the, cut the circle into pieces and to arrange them in a uh, square rectangle format, it will be difficult. But with the help of ICT, I can easily make the students to engage and understand the concepts of uh, how the area of uh, circle is derivative, uh, why it is pi r square like that. This is the resource bank I have created. Because uh, it is in my desk, uh, school desktop, so I, I use the laptop screenshot only. Here you can see the max resource bank is looking like this. So it will be separated into classes. It's a standard, some standard, it's a standard, and also I think uh, print videos and max source sheets and anonymous sharing materials and games. These are the main topics. Uh, this inside in the classroom itself, you can see there are unit wise uh, classification. In each unit, there will be separated into and interactive apps, videos, games, and evaluation. So in this folder, many videos and many applets are downloaded or created by me and then uh, started into this folder. So it is easy for me to fix uh, any unit at any time with the help of this resource bank. So I uh, recommend and I also request all the Mac teachers. Uh, in the meantime, when, while we are uh, uh, in the leisure or uh, leave, uh, like holidays, you have to make the resource bank. Uh, you have to consolidate them, collect them. Uh, this is what uh, is the need of the hour. Though we have in the ICT infrastructure, but it is essential for us to uh, use them appropriately because we have to be uh, separate them for which purpose we are going to. Use. So I am using the digital lesson plan also. So I am using ICT for teaching, self learning, and evaluation. So for teaching, I am following the digital lesson plan ICT two steps. For motivation, I will use uh, videos and the simulations like uh, uh, FET simulations and overlaps like that. We are. And also, I use my own uh, videos. And then for concept explanation, I have a list of softwares I have listed here. Uh, it will be take more time to list out all of them, uh, all of them but uh, I have just shown this uh, to you. Because these are all the software, GeoGebra is a dynamic software and also open board. It helped me very much in the COVID-19 situation where the, during the schools were closed, we are uh, interacting with the students. So open board helped me to write and teach the students. And the Grasshopper Map is a wonderful software. It is integrated into GeoGebra. So now GeoGebra nodes have all these things and that's not uh, graphing calculator like this. And uh, many uh, uh, Google, Chrome add-ons are available online, so it will help them to uh, make the students to engage and learn the mathematical concepts. And the RoboCompass is a, is a wonderful software for construction and edge activity and is very helpful for the slow learners. And then in mind map, I use mind map, easy, 
This is a wonderful online software, and also we can easily use them. And reinforcement, I will use the Fed simulation, Solabs, and Khan Academy videos. It's a, the plenty of uh, videos uh, which help the students to understand the concepts better. And then evaluation. Uh, I have created many Google Forms, uh, and especially I am using a software called EvalB. That is a specialty. I will show you, show you how you can use them. And then HYP. Uh, now it is something some features are not available, but uh, before that uh, I have used them uh, many times uh, for many purposes. And lining up dot org like that, which is software. With many evaluation software, I am using according to my need and also the availability of the internet. And then Max worksheet generator. It is a Microsoft free tool, so we can create a Max worksheet within fraction of second. Well, it is a free software. We can create the answers also at once. So it is in the web format. We can customize them and take a printout and use them directly in the classroom. And then remedial teaching. I am using a PS content and Max to PDF is a wonderful uh, mobile app that helps me to uh, create a simple worksheet uh, for slow learners. Here I I have purchased the writing tablet from uh, Ecom that uh, helped me to uh, write uh, in the board and to teach the students using the projector like this. Here this is a video I am using the internet. Right. This is my school, so it is an introduction to you. Here I am using the. Here I am using the board to teach the concept to the students. Like this, here you can see the students are engaging in a algebra to find the ready like that, and also they are playing with the flip simulations uh, to understand the concepts well for reinforcement purpose and also uh, for a motivation or a, an introduction purpose, concept introduction purpose. Purpose I use the flip simulations generally, and then these are the Google from thisnotes.com, and uh, there are plenty of Mac tablets uh, uh, that is available there. The Siva Vero Tennis, uh, they just help them students to understand the prime numbers and the non prime numbers, like that. And then exploring percentage, because the fraction is a difficult concept for the students. But here it is very easy to compare the fractions and also see them in a percentage and in a decimal. Like that, it, it helps me to make the students understand the concepts of fraction and the relationship, the relationship between the percentage, like that. So. Uh, I suggest uh, suggest all the Mac teachers to make use of them, and then the mind map creation using Free Mind app like that. Here, Polygon Explorer that helps them to realize the polygon and also understanding the time like that. Here, you can see the self learning video of my classroom. There is interesting lesson. This is the interactive games they are using using first simulation. This is the interactive game. This is a wonderful tool for a school learners to understand the basic code operations in that manner. So the interactive game is a wonderful software, and free software also. So the division is a very difficult task for the students. It will produce a different solution. The students uh, learn the concept how to divide any number. Like this. Yeah, the students verify number of radius that they have. Yeah, Yeah, 
This is the video to showcase you how the students have used the IT tool. And then I have used a wonderful software called Evaldi. This is a very useful software. This helps me to save the time. Because uh, I have already told you evaluation has uh, plenty of time. So it uh, replaces the time of the teacher. So the math teachers have to teach more concepts and more problems. So they have to uh, use a technical way to make the correction working better. The Evaldi is a wonderful software. So we can use the OMR uh, sheet to evaluate the student. Here I will showcase the video how I have used the Evaldi app. So download the app and sign up. And then list all the students. And then customize the OMR sheet and select and save. And then mark the answers. And then the question the paper through projector display then they are writing the answers the 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 on the help of the model and the sheet at once I have got the analysis. I have uh, evaluated the mark is shown on the top. Mark on there, yes to mark. Unaloda mark, yes to 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 mark, yes Answer over no, Yatana market to Ganga and Nana Sari, the Tapani Ganga, the 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 Ganga, so they have to answer each and every question as a coding method, then we can scan and also we can get the mark automatically added in the code story. So we can see the individual response of the students and how, uh, what are the difficult questions that have been, what are the concepts they didn't understand. So we can uh, easily find out the concepts which is very difficult for them. We can make the remedial measures accordingly. So this Evalby app is a uh, give to all the teachers who are uh, made the corrections. And then the max to period is a quiz maker app, so we can easily make the quiz. Uh, so it is uh, useful for the sole learners to uh, evaluate their uh, basic, that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So these apps help me very much. And then ICT for school. So here, uh, till now I am uh, explained regarding how I have used the ICT for my students. Now I have moved to the ICT for the second day, that is for school. Our school students and teachers have actually knowledge and skills of digital devices uh, And this is some how to connect them. Like this is difficult for them. So I teach them how to connect the systems with the electronic devices like this. And then And then I, I, I am supporting my school for the administration of like the uh, any subdivision in the CC reform maintenance and also the exam research and uh, creating digital limitation for the school. Uh, annual day report also produced in the video format. So by using, uh, I have created all these things by uh, training the students how to create the animation and make use of them like this. Nice. Here, here I have uh, how I have embedded the 21st century skills for students. So train the students to explore digital sources from online and also train them to follow the cyber security rules. Because uh, many of our students are well known how to use the mobiles and how to download the videos or how to watch the videos. But uh, cyber security is the main criteria here. So I have uh, conducted uh, classes 
special class for them how to use the uh, online effectively and also safely how to make the students uh, and also they are, i asked them to train their parents also in their home to use their mobiles and their uh, uh, online devices securely here the students are uh, engaging with a lot of platforms online and offline platforms so uh, as a result this is a result uh, i have got a, a fruitful result that uh, techno club competition is conducted uh, in our state so uh, every year we uh, our school students got some first and second place here uh, mr selvan party he is got the second place in the district level and then uh, here you can see uh, another student in uh, jail baraniya he, he has got the first place in the block level itself. so in under rea scheme last year abhishek rabia and this team we have got the prizes because of the coaching given by me and the students are eagerly understand the uh, and create many resources so they help me to uh, create many resources the thus uh, the result is good for me and then uh, create critical thinking and problem solving for that i have used scratch to make the students to create the animation and uh, some interactive applets and also we are using tax paint and scratch for their uh, enjoyment because they are, are their creativity is increased and then for uh, the augment reality is so now uh, now you are using yeah so here is everywhere so augment reality we are using for the software and exploring survey and the other aspects uh, though i am a math teacher i have to show the days and time that that uh, like this so selenium helps me to teach the students how to uh, Uh, know the astronomy and the planets level now if you went to few days before uh, the all planets uh, three planets are in my uh, one uh, on a single line so i have used selenium to explain them how to uh, use selenium so the selenium help uh, is an astronomy software which will be helpful for everyone so this is the invitation i have created for my school uh, sports day event you can see this contributed for the digital uh, platform here ncert icp uh, i i must thank uh, angel that now by my uh, ncert she uh, uh, she has asked uh, many help from other uh, volunteers so i am happy to contribute in the uh, ncert icp education post content development team 
max resource person in mysore also so and then i have uh, make uh, spoken tutorials i have contributed five videos uh, for the ncert icd education course uh, video tutorials so uh, i thank her uh, in this uh, time and then uh, play and learn mathematics using fast food so i am uh, happy to share i have my paper has been selected in the national math conference ninth math conference held in a, uh, through online due to the corona impact but also i am also eighth uh, national math conference held in uh, ra ajmer i have also participated and uh, presented my paper here this uh, helps me to uh, share my uh, usage of the for ict using fast to how to teach and uh, play and learn with mathematics like this so this event helped me uh, to more and more explanation to all the people and also to share my uh, usage to everyone here also i have the opportunity to share previously in a webinar uh, it is conducted during the covid pandemic time so many teachers are learning many softwares by using this so i have take the topic as uh, graphical math with geogebra uh, so in 2020 so i am uh, i have taken the session regarding how to integrate graphical math with uh, geogebra so and then uh, i am happy to be there in delhi and crt and the schools with uh, many uh, resource person around the india Uh, to create uh, e-resources for uh, secondary and uh, senior secondary mathematics video creation. I must thank Mr. Professor Vazal Vassar and also P.P. Sharma sir and Rajwal sir for giving me this opportunity to create more videos. I have contributed nearly 17 e-resources there. And also I must thank Mr. Dejin as a former NACP, National ICT Award. He has uh, asked me and uh, suggested me to to this work so i must thank him in this event so we are um, happy to work there and uh, collaborate with many software and uh, learn each other and it is uh, like that so i have learned many things and also i have contributed something to the society and then in a uh, never state uh, in previous 2019 uh, the new textbook is formed so i have uh, give some suggestion as input how to integrate uh, uh, ict with the mathematics teaching so this is a opportunity given to me to uh, share my views regarding how to use ict tools for other ict tools available so in textbook how we can collaborate with the tools and with the concepts like this i have given my input there and then ict for society uh, this is the thing uh, everyone should know this is the four, fourth year ict for us in the fourth year uh, for society so i have uploaded nearly uh, now it is uh, more than 200 but uh, at the time i, I have developed like 160 videos creating developing videos and i have uploaded in diksha in tamil nadu we have tnpt platform so we have uploaded plenty of videos according to the level of the students and the suitability so the certificate is given by diksha and also the tnpt also the Uh, in my youtube channel i have my youtube channel and it's akshan kanigam so there is meaning sweet max so there i upload all the videos which will be helpful for the students and then this is a uh, collaborative work i have done for the society during covid pandemic time i must remember this uh, this is a event uh, that helped me to reach uh, nearly 3000 teachers to introduce geogebra because uh, hands on training is not possible Uh, because GeoGebra is a wide software, we can we cannot learn. It is within five or six days work. But um, the COVID-19 break time, the schools are closed. The teachers are in the school, so are uh, in the home. So this time, I have planned to conduct an online webinar series, uh, like online course uh, for GeoGebra, uh, with the help of 16 spoken video tutorials, uh, like module one, module two, like this. I have created. Here is 70 modules. Uh, in that, the teachers are um, engaged to learn uh, each things like uh, each tool and how to use them effectively. So this uh, make them to learn uh, during that time. Sometimes they are uh, uh, very both in both. This opportunity helps them to uh, learn the new software and also use them effectively. This is a certificate given to the uh, students uh, those who have learned through online. 
I am happy to share I am selected as the Jyoti Gram Master in the law in this academic year because of the work that I have followed and uh, for uh, the, uh, for how to use the Jyoti Gram tools and also creating many resources in the Jyoti Gram school. So here this uh, resource bank, I must thank the team that is seeing Jyoti Gram teachers team. There are many teachers, nearly 30 teachers. I must say thank to each every one of them. Uh, from all over Tamil Nadu. They are willingly uh, learn the software and also they are willing to contribute uh, to create the resource plan. So we plan to create a team mainly called the TN Geogebra Teachers Team. That uh, the teachers from all over Tamil Nadu willing to contribute and create many resources. So this is a resource I will show you later in the drive itself. Now it, I show the screenshot one. Here you can see uh, it is separated like in the class way, that is 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and then it is both in Tamil medium and English medium also. These applets are classified into like the evaluation, learning, and the remedial teaching, and the self-learning, like this they are classified. So I must thank the team members of TNGOG team, they, and then we have uh, uploaded nearly 960 applets in the big shop platform. So this is the moment I want to share. Uh, I must thank each one of them who is part of it. And I, I also must thank Mr. Jagannathan sir. He is a two-hour code coordinator. He is a teacher in Pranam University. He also helped us to uh, to upload the each of the applets in the big shop. Uh, so I must thank him for this. And I also must thank all the members like uh, uh, Mr. Yella sir, Mr. Gopal Krishnan, Mr. Lakshman, and Mr. Kriya Kumar. And also the Howdy Kumar, like this, and also in the body, many teachers, Mala, ma'am, like that. Uh, I must remember each and every one of them. They help me to create this applet without any single amount. Um, uh, they are uh, voluntarily working free for the sake of the summer children. And then, uh, in, uh, during uh, these times, I have uh, uh, applied for many. Uh, software and I have created many applets. Uh, so Mr. Ranganathan is an ADPC and all this coordinator. He identified me and asked me to to create a remedial uh, website uh, for the sake of the Tamil Nadu children. So we have a uh, five members team, Mr. Sanjay Sivan, Mr. Vaidhi Prabhu and uh, Ruby uh, Captain Karasamya and also Mr. Morley Dharan and Mr. Singh sir. So uh, as a team we are creating a website called uh, uh, Digital Mathematics for Remedial Teaching Tamil Nadu. There is rmsc.com. There we have uh, started many videos and created many videos and upload them in the class base and also. This helps the students to uh, use it for a remedial purpose. And also for the national like uh, NTSC and the NMMS examination, and there is a need of uh, medicine uh, that is consolidated and collected. Here, the RMSC talent exam blackboard is another uh, a child for us. So the, this helps the students to uh, get practice the many materials. So the, we are producing videos and also we are uh, uh, releasing PPT for the students' self learning and also we are conducting online courses also. So this helps me to uh, identify uh, in the state level. And then organized many ICT camps around the, the resource session. I have conducted many uh, Classes uh, spread the truthfulness of the ICT. I have an opportunity to uh, uh, conduct a workshop in the Central University of Tamil Nadu situated in our district. In the under our Alastia district, uh, we have conducted a workshop with uh, nearly 70 teachers around our district. So they are eagerly participate and uh, learn the free and open source software that are all available for teaching mathematics. This is, this is the pride movement for us. And also, I have a own my own website called TNICT Teachers. This uh, is uh, for uh, to share the teachers the about subject specific software, which were very, very useful. And we, we collected many software lists, uh, which is uh, which is a mobile app or a desktop. So and conducted various ICT webinar series in the COVID-19 pandemic situation. This is a series of webinars conducted during Corona lockdown. So for TNICT teachers website, we are uh, conducting nearly 40 uh, webinars. And also for uh, uh, district level diet and also SCRT and also for uh, many 
colleges they are invited us to share our resources um, to how to use ICT effectively. So these are all the webinars that is very helpful for the teachers to learn during the pandemic situation. Because uh, before that they are only concentrating and using blackboards like that and then this pandemic I will say gift for uh, those who are technically interested to learn something new. These webinars definitely help them. So it is a golden opportunity for me to share uh, my views and the usages of ICT tools to them. And as a teacher, I have to be a continuous learner. Isn't it? So I have learned many things. So understanding open uh, educational resources like that, and also CFP security side of it. Nowadays, uh, uh, NCIT CIT conducted many ICT webinar series, and also for the uh, cyber security, they are creating many awareness. So I am regularly participating in all the webinars conducted, uh, and also got many certificates. Here, I have showcased only few of them. And right. uh, here many quizzes are conducted through online, so I have uh, usually participated. So I have got a Dream Teacher Award uh, from State Educational Minister. So this is a, a pride moment for me to recognize in the state level itself as a Dream Teacher Award by the Tamil Nadu Education Minister, Farmer Education Minister, now the Education Minister. Came. And then my future plan. Uh, what is, so creating cyber security awareness is a very well important one thing and also to upload various conduct uh, many resources in the Diksha platform like this and also we have uh, in our state we also we are using the QR code in the new textbook so many contents we are creating and uploading in there so I have a plan to create many resources and upload them and then uh, TNG resource library this is another motto for me so already we have uploaded many aspects uh, but uh, some concepts are still missing so we are a uh, in the creation mode, we are creating many resource libraries. This is the last part. Uh, I am just constructing this. Uh, in future, they will be useful and open to all. So, uh, this is all the presentation I want to share here. And then we have another thing here. Just a minute. Uh, I would like to show the resource library one thing. Uh, this is how I have used the GeoGebra notes effectively. Here you can see the video is integrated and the GeoGebra concept and we can use the pen to write itself. So like this, the GeoGebra, GeoGebra notes is effective uh, and a useful software. And then this is the group I have followed in the PN GeoGebra which is uh, group by Ganesh here it is. You can see there are many members, they are uploading the resources regularly. And uh, here you can see the applets are created by them and uploaded regularly in this group. This is very helpful for us to easily use them whenever possible because it is in the regional language. Because, uh, because we are in Tamil Nadu, so the many applets are in the Tamil school, so many teachers are uploading this, uh, in this group regularly. And then this is the library I want to show you here. This is a resource bank that we are created as a, a team and collaborative work in 2020. So, 6th standard, 7th standard, 8th standard, 9th standard, 10th standard. It is inside, you can see it is in both medium and it, in each one it is in the time wise and also you can see unit wise materials are available. That's all I want to share here that the journey of my ICT is nothing but a collaborative work and also learning from YouTube and many things and also to spread the happiness of using ICT. And thank you one and all present here. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing each and every minute detail of your journey and uh, the way you started and the way you have reached. You've got so many recognition. You've got so many certificates. And uh, you also mentioned that uh, you were uh, you were mentioned, you were selected as the GeoGebra Ambassador of 2022 and 23. Would you like to share uh, how exactly did it happen? Uh, how was you selected on what criteria? Yes, it was a golden opportunity for me because uh, GeoGebra has uh, uh, contributed by many people around the world. So as a GeoGebra contributor, I have regularly creating video tutorials and applets. But uh, in few, or, uh, uh, few years before, they are using this GeoGebra ambassador label and the contributor label. So I am uh, just upload the content and I apply for that. They are using this and also they are uh, happy to select me because uh, I am spreading the happiness of the agent. Mm -hmm. 
Amazing, sir. That is so great and congratulations for that. Uh, sir, because the pandemic period was there and uh, we cannot deny that it was a difficult period for everyone, be it students, be it teachers. So would you like to tell us that how did you communicate uh, with the students during that period uh, because there were restrictions at that time? Yes, ma'am. The COVID pandemic is a very, very difficult task for any teachers because uh, we are not in the regular classroom, so we are... Uh, Killing the asking. Mm -hmm. So, by by some way, we have to contact with them. So, I think I'm using uh, Zoom app and uh, the Google Meet like that. But many students does not have uh, uh, the proper infrastructure in their home and net facility. So, we are using many methods by visiting the school with uh, all safety uh, to their home and uh, give some uh, worship directly to them and collect them in every week. Like this, we are interacting with them now. Okay. All right. So, um, we don't have any more time left, but we have had a great uh, uh, information regarding your journey and it was very inspiring and motivating. There's no doubt about that. And all the teachers who are watching this program, they also have got certain clues how to uh, know, um, get their hands on those ITCT tools and how they're so helpful uh, for the teachers and even for the students. So, uh, thank you so much for being a part of our program. It was wonderful having you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you to all our viewers for being a part of this program. I'm really sure that uh, you have learned a lot from Sir's journey of uh, uh, being a National ICT Awardee teacher. And uh, all the very best uh, for all your future endeavors. So we are wrapping up this particular program. But coming up next is another special program of ours that is Sayog, Guidance for Mental Well-Being of the Children. And the topic of discussion would be cultivating happiness for positive mental health. So stay here here and raise your questions for sure. So thank you so much once again um, and I'm Tanvi Khurana. I'll take a leave of you but before leaving I just want to tell you once again that we're extremely proud of the fact that India assumed G20 presidency and would convene G20 leaders summit for the first time in the country this year. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding global pragmatic solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest its true spirit of Vasudeva Kutumbakam or should I say the world is one family. So with that, we are wrapping up. Thank you so much. Namaskar.